Hi and welcome to the Thrunite channel. So in today's video, very excited to check out a new model from Thrunite. This is the Catapult Mini Pro. And this is a very, very impressive little powerhouse. I mean, you can see this, it gets completely hidden in the palm here, but this is capable of tremendous output and a ton of throw. We're gonna be comparing that to three other Thrunite models with Catapult Mini, Catapult Mini V2, as well as the Catapult Pro, because it's kind of a combination or baby of all these combined. And we're also gonna compare that to two different Olight models, all right? So quick, I'm just gonna give you the, the model names here, uh, the highest output and their current price in the market, all right? Just for a quick comparison, you know, for the specs. Because that's what everyone wants to know is how bright is it and how expensive is it, right? So first, from left to right, Catapult Mini Pro, $39.99. This puts out 2,588 lumens. Very impressive. Next that, the Catapult Mini. All right, this puts out 680 lumens. Currently sells for $79.95. That is a third-party seller on uh, Amazon is where I got that price from. Then we have the uh, Thrunite Catapult Mini V2. Also $39.99, just like the Pro. This one puts out 1,108 lumens. All right, then we got the big boy on the table here. This is the Catapult Pro, currently $69.99. Puts out 2,713 lumens. And then jumping into the Olights, we have the very popular um, Javelop Mini. This currently sells for $74, puts out an even thousand lumens. And then on the end here, we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro, currently $107 and puts out 4,200 lumens. So I'm going to quickly just kind of go through each light to show you how they work. Then we're going to head outside and really see how these things uh, shine up at night. And then maybe a little conclusion at the end. All right, so first up, the Catapult Mini Pro. All right, again, you can see this form factor where it's very, very short, very slim on the body with like kind of an oversized head. Kind of like a little uh, ice cream cone, if you will. All right, buttons on the side. All right, you can see it does have a uh, battery indicator. Blue is good. Once it goes red, it needs to be charged. Puts out a ton of power. In fact, it's putting also some heat out. You can feel that even from here, a couple inches away. All right, so at any point in time, you can click it once just to turn it on. Push and hold to cycle through the, the modes here. Low, medium, and high. Double click to go right to the turbo mode. All right, in the off position here, just do a long press to get our moonlight mode. This is the lowest output for the longest runtime. This is what you use maybe in a survival situation or a real emergency where you really want to conserve that battery power. All right, inside we have a lithium ion battery and we have a charging port on the side. All right, USB type C for a quick charging. And just to show you the battery on the inside, we have 1100 milliamp hour 18350. It does have a flat bottom on here, which is fantastic for tail standing. Again, a huge feature that I look for personally, especially in a survival type light. If the power goes out, you know, I could put the different flashlights all around the house and just have illumination that's bouncing off the ceiling. So flat bottom is a big deal for me. Something I like a lot. All right, that's pretty much it. That is the Catapult Mini Pro. So next up, we have the original Catapult Mini. All right, also same four factor where we have a fatter head with kind of a slim short body. This does have a different reflector system. I'm actually gonna grab the, the first one here just to show you that. Nice, deep, super polished reflector, whereas we have the internal reflection system on this one to kind of concentrate that beam tight. All right, so we'll see that when we go outside and do the, the tests. But anyway, it works exactly the same, all right? Turn on one button, push and hold, cycle through low, medium, and high, double click for turbo, and same deal, you know, with the battery indicator that's on the side, all right, flat bottom, pretty much the same thing, just an older version of it, and long presses for that moonlight mode, all right, so there you go, that is, oh, let me show you the battery real quick, same thing though, we do have a 18350 on the inside, is 1100 milliamp hour, okay, and the charging port is on the side of the head, right, right in the back here. And on this Catapult Mini, let me pop this open, you can see this has the USB Type-C as well. So next up we have the Catapult Mini V2, which is just an upgraded version, so it's pretty identical in a lot of different ways, but just a, an upgrade in the uh, technology and the output. All right, so same deal though, turn on, push and hold, low, medium, and high, you can let go in any of those modes to keep the mode. Double click for turbo, in the off position, a long hold for our uh, moonlight mode. You can see we have kind of the donut ring there because it's super close obviously these being you know kind of search lights and, and um, lights that are projecting light out when it's really close like that we get that little ring but you almost never see that unless you're literally within like a foot of whatever you're shining it at 
But same thing, charging port is on the back here. All right, make charging easy. But the um, the battery is also the same, so you can see in here, uh, USB Type C, and it's rocking the same battery too, an 18 uh, 350, 1100 milliamp hour. Okay, so that's it. That's the Catapult Mini V2. All right, next up, the big boy on the table here. So we're following the same theme where we have kind of a slender body and a large head. In this case, it's a much larger package overall. It's like three or four times the size as the first three lights there. It is quite big, but it's good for comparison, you know, not only in lumens, but price as well. The Catapult Pro works the same way though. Push the button, uh, battery indicator on the side, push and hold down, cycle through your different modes. In this case, it's gonna ramp all the way down. So we have a ramping function, push and hold to ramp back up. It's blinking, just showing that it's at its max, max high or max low. Double click for the turbo mode, which is quite warm here. Okay, um, charging port on the back, same thing though, USB type C. The battery on this guy is a lot bigger, as you can see here, it's a 26650, 5000 milliamp hour. All right, this also, even though it's a large light, it features the nice flat bottom, which I told you I'm a huge fan of. All these do have lanyard holes, I didn't mention it, but they all can uh, have the optional lanyard if you want. So tail stand, which is fantastic, all right, and then long press for that moonlight mode. Even though we have this massive light with this massive head on there, it still very much has a moonlight mode to conserve that power in the case of emergency. All right, so that's it. That's the Catapult Pro. All right, so switching over now to the Olight lights. Here we have the Javelon Mini, kind of a different setup, but also one of their kind of search lights. So that's why we're comparing it in this video here. Uh, in this case, we have the button on the back. The charging system is a magnetic system. All right, but if I take this cap off, we can check out the battery real quick. So there's the battery there. It's an 18500, 2040 milliamp hour. So to use this light, use the button on the back, of course. You do kind of a half press here for momentary on, and this is the low. If I go to push this all the way forward, you'll feel a little buzz internally, uh, but then it goes to the high mode, all right? So again, for momentary on, half press, and then push all the way down, you'll kind of feel it click, and that's your, your momentary low and high. Uh, you could just push it quickly to get your um, constant on, all right? So just an interesting light, you know, different uh, UI, completely different setup, but the same function in that this is a very good thrower. That's why we're gonna compare it today's video. All right, last up here, we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. All right, this light's pretty interesting. We have a ring here, all right, that shows us on the left our output, and on the right our battery power. You can see this is fully charged up. So once the light is on, all you have to do is push and hold, and it'll cycle through the modes, right? It goes quite quickly, but same deal as through night. We have low, medium, high. All right, let go when you're on the mode that you want. It's really that simple. This has a uh, proximity sensor. If you notice that my hand was closer, it dims a little. So when you pull back and you're a certain distance and you get the, the full output. That's to kind of prevent if you're up against the wall or something, the light from, you know, distracting your own eyes and, and you know, it kind of dims that a little bit. Also for heat, if you happen to be too close to something, it's less likely to overheat. All right, so something some people like, other people don't. Just kind of depends on the individual person. What sets this light apart from every other one in this video, this does have a quad header, four LEDs, all right? They work in unison to create that beam compared to the other lights where, you know, they're, they're more of a single hot spot thrower. This is a little bit more of an area light, but it still does project light out. So this is gonna be good for the comparison as well. So that is the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. All right, guys, so first up here is the Catapult Mini Pro. Put that on high. We are roughly 30, 35 feet, something like that from this shed. So up, down, left, and right. That is a beast for being such a small flashlight. All right, next is the Catapult Mini V2. Okay, up, down, left and right. And the Catapult Mini, up, down, left, and right. And the big boy, we have the Catapult Pro. Okay, up, down, left and right. All right, so next up, the Javelot Mini. 
up, down, left, and right. And last up, the Seeker 3 Pro. Okay. Totally different throw on this guy. And that's it. All right, so there you go. Now that you saw the lights in action, I have to say they're all impressive lights. These are all very high quality, well-made flashlights. They do offer slightly different things. Um, I like to add the uh, the Seeker 3 Pro just as, uh, you know, for comparison here. But as you can see from the beam shots, this doesn't compare directly because this is not really a, uh, a thrower so much as it is an area light. But it happens to project light in a nice way where it does project it out. And keep in mind, this is 4,200 lumens. So over 4,000 lumens is going to project naturally. But this is more of a wall of light as compared to the rest of these, which focus it pretty narrowly. And some do it a lot better than others. Uh, all three of the small catapults, the Catapult uh, Mini Pro, the Mini, and the, the V2, as you saw, they have a very, very tight beam. And in this video, obviously, I can't really reach out and, you know, to a mile or whatever ridiculous distance is. But these have a lot more capability than what you're seeing. This is just a quick comparison to give you an idea of the beam shot. But these definitely really, really tighten up that beam. It's quite amazing, actually. Uh, I wanted to have a full-size light in this comparison as well. That's why I went with the Catapult Pro. Keep in mind, too, the Catapult Pro is coming in at 2,713 lumens. 2,713 lumens for $70. The Catapult Mini Pro has 2,588 lumens. Very, very close to that for $39.99 price tag. Okay, so almost half the price, but almost the full power or capability as this much larger light. Now, obviously, with the larger battery, you're going to get different run times and such. But it is interesting to see that. They kind of create a hybrid between the Mini, right, and obviously the second version of the Mini, and the full Pro. So if you liked the size, you know, the um, form factor of these Catapult Minis, but you like the, uh, you know, the numbers and the output that the Pro offered, that's where the Catapult Mini Pro comes in, right? Now the Javelot is also, or the Javelot Mini here is a really cool light. Again, wanted to kind of compare it with a, a different brand here. It is offering a lot, uh, but unfortunately this is $74, you know, so of course it has a higher price tag. And speaking of high price tags, that Seeker 3 Pro, $107. It's a lot of money, but it's a cool light. It has some uh, some different features. The other lights obviously don't, but you know clearly you're going to pay for that. So I really don't think there's a wrong choice here as far as a you know searchlight or a light that you want to really have a lot of throw as compared to spill. Um, but you know obviously very favorable with the the new Mini Pro. Just a fantastic price uh, price for this, and just a ton of performance and a tiny little package. So very excited about it. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, there are product giveaways completely free to you, the viewer. If you're interested, all you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.